in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The much-anticipated mixed-use development, Mendel and Main Central Square, was launched in September. Megan van Weingard has a story. The 1.8 billion rand Central Square project, which forms part of an overall 315,000 square metre precinct, is a boutique-style mall housing 50 retailers, including Woolworths Food, restaurants such as Old Town Italy and lifestyle establishments such as the Virgin Classic Gym and the Wellness Warehouse. Gauteng Premier David Makura speaks about the significance of the development. The whole precinct is uh, complete with all the developments. Uh, when we did the sort turning last year, it is estimated that 3,500 jobs would be created just in this part of the city. It's a very good integrated development. It's an eco CBD. Uh, it's also uh, designed in a way that integrates work, live and leisure. Uh, it, it's an important note uh, in, the, in our plans about the city of Tswani, the eastern part of the city. Uh, the, it's a growth point, critical growth point. It, it's also an important intervention about densification uh, because the new uh, morphology of our cities uh, also should we should promote uh, densification of our cities we should promote uh, uh, a new way in which people cities would would evolve people will work will live uh, and also it's an important investment a very very important investment in the city's economy but in the economy of our province co-owned by joint investors mainland main investment holdings and the government employees pension fund Makura highlights that the area would also form part of the car train rail system expansion. When you have a concentration uh, of, uh, of economic activity like here, the next big development is public transport. There's two interventions. The one is that the REN, the BRT bus service of the city, is also uh, going to be coming to Menlin, Maine. And in the medium term, the how trains expansion, uh, one of the routes that will be uh, added onto the, the, the next phase of the development of the how train is going to be uh, coming from the C CBD of Swani through main lane to Mamelodi. So those two interventions, the bus rapid transit system of the city and the how train, will add another important intervention in, in the growth of this area. So certainly public transport investments are important. However, the development of yet another retail offering in the already saturated Gateng raises the question whether this capital should not have been spent in building the province's industrial scape. Makura explains. I see the, the commercial enterprise the development of uh, in industrial development and commercial enterprise should go uh, side by side. Uh, what we see happening just in the northern side of the city, that's in the automotive hub in Roslin, is mainly industrial development. And on the southern side in Centurion, where I visited last week in the Centurion Aerospace uh, Village, is industrial side of development. Uh, so I, I will say that it's important because the, 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 the more commercial side of these developments promote uh, the services industry. So for the Gauteng economic uh, plan, the new Gauteng economic plan, we want to promote both uh, manufacturing, industrial development type of growth, as well as the, the promotion of the services sector. Uh, jobs in the services sector uh, in our province have also been the driver of uh, economic growth and employment. So we would like to see uh, this go going side by side. It's not one at the exclusion of the other. As long as we also have a new industrial nodes which we are promoting in the eastern side of Gauteng, Ekurulene, the er there's lots of new industrial developments uh, in, the, in, the, in Johannesburg. There are also industrial developments in the Val, uh, which is the southern 
Western uh, corridor and in the West End. The services sector creates the kind of jobs where many of our youth are able to enter uh, the labor market with, with, with ease. And that's what, what, what we must also promote. Besides the retail sector, Mainland Maine will also be home to a residential quarter, offices, the Sun International Times Square Casino, a park, a five-star hotel and an 8,000-seater arena development. Other news making headlines this week. Logistics Barometer highlights paradox of local industry. SAP opens new co-innovation lab to bolster relevant innovation. And stronger institutions can save South Africa from ratings downgrade. If South Africa invests more in beneficiating more of its raw materials, the logistics cost relative to gross domestic product will drop which will in turn contribute to job creation and grow the economy. To move a ton of iron ore and a ton of coal costs more or less the same than to move a ton of beneficiated product. It's a little bit different, but it's more or less the same. Therefore, your relative value add or your relative cost of logistics for highly beneficiated products is much lower. It's much less. You can think to move a ton of gold. It's a wonderful example. A ton of gold is worth 500 million rand. So if you move a ton of gold, no matter how you move it, the percentage of the transport cost of the value of the gold is more or less nothing. If you move a ton of coal that's worth a thousand rand over a long distance, you add 50% to its cost. So clearly, if you beneficiate the things at source and beneficiate more in the country, our logistics cost relative to what our output is is going to be much lower. South Africa has become home to enterprise application software firm SAP's seventh co-innovation lab, or COIL, aimed at promoting innovative locally relevant solutions through the unification of different ideas, tools and technology. The co-innovation lab really is the, the bringing together of the partners with the innovative ideas, the, the capability to, to do the development and other things on the front end on the SAP platform so that we can manage all the integration and seamless uh, solution uh, you know, orientation for customers. We started off with um, uh, you know, uh, co-innovating with customers before we launched the co-innovation lab. But once you see that this, you know, this has so much momentum and customers are getting excited and they need the solutions and they see what's possible through technology, you know, the way you can transform their business through technology and solutions, then you need to put a, a program around it that really kind of frameworks everything and makes it possible and automates it and simplifies it. And this is where co-innovation labs comes along. Reserve Bank Governor warned that the threat of a downgrade to South Africa's investment grade rating remained. South Africa remains under threat of a possible downgrade from the rating agencies to sub-investment grade. One of the implicit factors contributing to some of the agencies maintaining our investment grade in the past few months has been the strength of some of our critical institutions. There is no doubt that should a downgrade transpire, it will be reflected in the exchange rate to the extent that it is, all, is not already reflected in current prices. This will not be a sign of increased competitiveness, rather an adjustment to a deterioration in our competitive standing globally as an investment destination. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.